so i'm finally back if you can tell i'm i'm not recovering i just have a sore throat because of all the gunk i found but i've had strep throat so that was awesome but anyways i should be back now and so anyways here is scared after like i think a week now but anyways let's get going so i'm walking to the principal's office i don't regret anything that damn bastard needed to have a reality reality check i knocked on the door office door and heard a small come in i answered and closed the door after me i sat down on the print on the nearby chair wait a damn minute <gasps> no way the principal the principal is a woman holy shit this is too iconic I started to giggle. She lifted an eyebrow and looked at me in slight annoyance. May I know what's funny, Miss Lien? She asked. It's iconic. I got sent to the principal's office since I told off the teacher for being sexist, but the principal is a woman. Hold on. He said, what? Oh, she looks pissed now. I smirked and told her about everything. Don't worry, I'll get him fired by tonight. The principal's so fucking pretty cool. I like her. I'm glad he does not deserve to be a teacher. He spoke. I agree. I'm sorry for this. You may go back. You may go back home early. She said. Thanks. I left and went to my locker. Ah shit! Why do I always forget things? I quickly went back to the office. I left my fucking bag there. I had. Thought it was me in sense as I spend it. I knocked and go in again. Hey, sorry, it's me again. Oh, sorry, it's me again. I forgot my. There I saw, blooding, doma, and a hurt saw me. Well, shit. Uh, hello again, Miss Lin. Oh, Miss Yin. May I ask a favor of you? She asked. Uh, of course. What is it? He spoke. Well, the nurse has fallen ill and can't help right now. And uh, Mr. Sanami and Mr. Doma here do not know how to treat injuries. Could you take a care of those? She asked. Uh huh. He spoke. Please, I can't disturb other classes. She spoke. Uh, fine. Not like I had a choice. She's the principal, after all. Both of the boys followed me to the nurse's office. They sat on opposite beds, glaring at each other like they were gonna fucking murder each other. Damn, they really disliked each other. Why are they even beaten up like this? I don't need your fucking help, bitch. First of all, I'm not a fucking bitch. Second, unless you learn how to treat. Wounds in f the next five minutes. I'll suggest you shut your own damn mouth and sit down. You stated at him. How did you guys even get in this state? You asked. Surprisingly, Sanami answered. He was being an asshole to Shinobu Mitsuri, being a fucking pervert and sexist. He shot, looking really angry instead of looking mad too. Doma had a small flush on his face and smiled sweetly. It's not my fault they would look even prettier with blood on them. Plus, he started at first by insulting Muzan Zama. I cried slight. I cringed slightly. He has a blood kink, doesn't he? Ugh. I sighed and went to get the medical supplies. Sanami had a nosebleed and a few bruises, while Doma had a big cut on his forehead huh. and bruises too. How did he even get that big cut? Okay, Sanami, pinch that pinch the soft part above your nostril with a tissue for about ten to fifteen minutes. Also, your face needs to be downwards. I suggest breathing by your nose. Now, Doma, how in the God's name did you get a deep that deep of a cut? There was a frame that I knocked over accidentally. It broke, so when Sanami pushed me down, I got cut. He said, with a fake as with a fake as hell cheerfulness. I took a cloth and put pressure on his wound. We stayed still for about seven minutes before it stopped bleeding. 
I then disinfected it and bandaged it. That was a lot of blood. I don't usually mind, but it was really a lot. Like, my hands are soaked. Is he? All right. Hey, Doma, are you okay? That was uh, a lot of blood. Are you feeling dizzy or, like, uncomfortable? He looked surprised, but went closer to... Went back to his cheek. Mm, oh, yes, I'm fine. This is nothing. Uh, what? Um, okay, that was uh, definitely... Not nothing. That was a lot. It isn't normal, so stop acting like this. Now, if you don't feel well in the next few hours, call a hospital. I scolded him. And Doma looked surprised again. Um, lady? Yeah, Sonomy. What is it? By the way, my name's Yin. You... You, oh my god, you answered him with giving your name. It stopped fucking bleeding, but I've got a blood all over my damn shirt. He spat. I won't be able to get it out completely, but I could maybe. I went to get another clean cloth. I put water on it and approached him. Oi, what the, what the hell are you doing? I got closer and rubbed, oh my god, it started to rub the water. God damn it. It's not coming off. I rub harder. What are you doing, woman? Is he blushing? Oh, it must be awkward to be this close to a girl. He must really like his personal space. I'm trying to rub the blood off, but it's not working. Sorry. I stepped away and gathered everything to put it away. You're both free to go, but be careful. They were both just staring at me for a straight minute before getting up and leaving. Bye-bye, yun Chan. Of course, Doma did that. Sami left in silence. I got out after them and walked towards the exit. I heard someone walking behind me. Is that Kogashibo? I met with Doma a second ago. Thank you. He is a friend to me. He spoke. Kogashibo, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's really nothing. He spoke. Still, you took care of him, since it's usually my job. I will owe you a favor in the future. Good night, Kokushibo said before walking off. Okay, he's a bit odd, but caring. A strange guy indeed. But I continued to walk. Third person POV. Doma walked in the corridors, in the corridors to his locker. She was so nice and kind. She was pretty too. <laughs> she would have a pretty red blood on her though. I want to see her with blood on her. <laughs> she could look simply divine. He smiled happily at the thought. Six percent. Sonomi headed towards his house. That damn chick yelled at him. Maybe he deserved it for insulting her, but she was kind. And he knew. I mean, she took care of his wounds and tried to help his shirt, but she was a bit too close. His cheeks went pink. Four percent. Kokushiba was ta- taking his things out of his locker. He didn't really know why he helped her. He didn't. Sh- done. He didn't. Oh my god. He hadn't done so f- for other people that Muzan hurt, but he felt pity for her. Thus helped her. He wondered how long she would last with Muzan's bullying. Three percent.